Okay, everyone, so we are back again. Uh, let me just clear that. And today we're just going to be talking about the differences of fading in and fading out between Audacity and um, Adobe Audition. And uh, you may want to have a little bit of a different preference for each. Uh, the only difference uh, would be, I think one of the few differences is going to be the curve. Uh, it will sound the same when you export to MP3 or WAV, but um, but how it's faded in or faded out is going to make the difference. So let's get into it. All right, so this is where I am, and uh, let's just record a little segment to start off. Give that a moment. Oh, and that... And as you can see, it's already recording, and it is uh, very, very um, stagnant. Uh, but I'm going to just stop it here. Okay. Um, all right, I'm actually going to delete this block if I can. All right. Um, I'm going to do Control-A here. We're going to go to Effect... I'm going to do, uh, where is fade in? Give that a moment. Okay, and then it's there. And um, now, you don't have to do this with the entire track in Audacity, but I just wanted to uh, show this to you. So, here we go. Yeah, so apologies if uh, that didn't come out right. Let me... Uh... Yeah, okay. So um, didn't the uh, vertical line didn't come out the way I wanted it to. Hopefully you heard that. Uh, now we can undo this. And it is very slow today. Um... Now, I'm going to take this little portion right here, if I can get a little more there. Okay, I'm going to hold it there. We're going to do the same thing there. Fade in. And this is just running, yeah. Okay. And as you can see, it's already recording, and it is a very, very... I'll just stop it right there. Okay, so you can see that as well. Now, I'm going to just come over here, and we're going to do the, um, oh, this, it is not kind to me right now. I'm going to just do it right there, and we are going to do fade out. And, and ignore this little part right here at the end. Uh, that is, that just came in, and I do not know why it, uh, stopped there. Um, but we're going to fade out as well. And you're going to hear it right here. Yeah. Yeah, so this one wasn't uh, optimal. I'm going to undo this. Uh, but, but the thing with this is with Audacity is that it's a little more targeted uh, when fading in or fading out. So uh, just keep that noted. Um, all right, we're gonna do Control A. I'm gonna select that. We're gonna fade out. And you see the difference right there. So um, yeah, the one thing is is that it will um, go gradually at certain levels. So it'll do like point 5 dB, then 0.4 or something to that effect. Um, but then you see at the end that it's all the way down here, and I'll just give you a little sample of this. Um, you know, and I'll just start here. Okay, so that's how you do it in uh, Audacity, and I think. In, just in terms of uh, fade-in, uh, I'll definitely recommend uh, doing, you know, taking it there with 
with specifically Faden, but let's do this in Adobe Audition. Maybe this is running a little better right now. Who knows? Untitled. And as I stressed before, I will just do this right here, keeping this in mono track, 32 bit, and here we go. All right, this is a bit of a test. It's a little slow, but I can see that it's moving a little bit better, so I'm just going to stop it right here. Stop. Just stop. Oh, man, that, that was a little um, a bit stressful. All right, I have to delete this now. Now, if you're new to Adobe Audition, you're going to see uh, these two little functions of fade in and fade out. We can also do this uh, very similarly. So we'll go to effects, um, amplitude and compression. It was delay and echo. You can also get more of an echo on this uh, time and pitch as well. So I just wanted to cover that. But... um. Let's just take it to fade in um, and you can see here like it'll definitely It's gonna be a little bit more trickier to do that, but if I could just actually invert That so yeah, you could do it sort of like this as well, so it's just where you place the curve as well, so so you so it's a bit so it's a bit more targeted as well, and it and it updates like that. So you really need to be on your game there as well. Um, certainly when you're doing like this longer strip as well. Um, let's see if we can do this actually. Okay, we can't really do that like that. Yeah, so you're gonna really need to be on your game when you're doing this in, in Adobe Audition. Um, and target this, uh, which is why I recommend just take your mp3 file over to Audacity, uh, save it as an Audacity project, then export it as an mp3 file or wave as well. So there's that. So um, it's not the best. I'm not the biggest fan of doing it in um, Audition. Um, it can still be done. Um, if I could just fade out. And then just, yeah, so even still, it's it's just not, it, it's just very hard because I may want to do that with the entire segment. So I'm just going to just come back around. We're going to do Control-A. I'm actually going to go to help for this one and uh, fade um, in. Which is, okay, we're going to clip. So you can actually clip it. It's not in effects, but you can do do it there. So we're going to go here um, and hold up a sec. Let me just highlight all this. And uh, we're going to do uh, fade in and actually, yeah. Uh, it's not it's not there for whatever reason um but yeah but you're gonna need to yeah but it's a little more frustrating to work with in this um undo fade out um could do that repeat command fade in cross it fade out amplitude fade fade in okay okay so that's gonna be in our favorites as well so let's just do command a and we're gonna go to our favorites, um, so fade in. It's still gonna be a bit more tricky um, as well. Now, um, I'm actually gonna undo this because this was not what I wanted to happen. I'm gonna highlight this portion here and we're gonna try it here. Fade in, give that a moment. Okay, so it so you can do it in Audition um, as well. Just go to your favorites. Uh, 
if you really just want it there and and we'll just segment out the um the uh, fade out as well so just go here and um do fade out and you're not fading in on the end remember that every end piece requires a fade out like for a song or anything of the sort so just uh keep that in mind when you are um considering this uh considering the uh, fade in and the fade outs as well so i'm going to do um undo the, that and we're going to undo this all right and now i'm going to highlight this um favorites uh fade out we're not going to see too much on the on the uh, beginning part here and give that one more second and and you can see that the uh, volume uh, definitely does decrease along the way. So it's still a little harder to, it's kind of a bit harder to work with, but as long as you are able to segment off that uh, piece um, in audition, it's gonna be, it's gonna be almost as easy, but I still say that um, it's better, a little better in, in, a, in a Audacity just for this one function. That's just my opinion, but hey, if you like this uh, video, like this video, um, uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will talk to you all in the next video. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, I guess that's that's all. And uh, if you want, and if you're watching this anywhere else, um, uh, just let's continue on and uh, let's get to it. Uh, peace.